San Diego County started distributing hundreds of thousands of rapid COVID tests to local school districts today. But a new study is raising doubt about whether these tests can detect Omicron early enough to prevent the spread. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why Omicron is complicating screening efforts. School districts have been eagerly waiting for these shipments of rapid at home COVID tests. State officials promised enough kits for every K through 12 student and build them as a way to minimize spread. But a new study shows people become infectious with Omicron days before these rapid tests can detect their positive. We started to notice that the spread was happening much faster than than we could even catch. Dr. Blythe Adamson is one of the authors. Her company, Infectious Economics, does testing for Broadway shows, sports leagues, and other companies. In December, they ran a small study on 30 people. Each one got tested daily with both an at-home rapid test and a lab-grade PCR test. On average, they found people harbored infectious levels of Omicron three days before the rapid test could detect they were positive. What we know so far about COVID is that you're really infectious before you feel symptoms. And so if there is that lag, then we really need to look closely at our workplace policies to make sure we're not setting up unintentionally a super spreading event. The study examined common rapid tests from Abbott and Quidel. It hasn't been reviewed by outside scientists yet, but they say they found at least four cases where people infected someone else during that gap when the rapid test claimed they were negative. We think they may be less reliable in Omicron, but they're still going to be a help because they'll identify a lot of people that we would otherwise miss. Uh, we've known for a long time that no testing program uh, picks up everything. Dr. Robert Schooley oversees COVID safety at UC San Diego. He says rapid antigen testing remains useful, especially for testing people who have symptoms. But he says this new study underscores that rapid testing alone isn't enough. Is it reasonable to say if you're not vaccinated, then you can get tested and come to a restaurant or get on an airplane? This is telling you that testing really isn't a surefire way to know that you're not at risk for transmitting to other people. There are several theories about why Omicron is harder for these rapid tests to detect early compared to other variants. But one thing is clear. With Delta, the virus had to copy itself for up to four days before there was enough to infect someone else. With Omicron, it takes just 12 to 24 hours to jump to a new host. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Quite a rapid test. They are made here in San Diego. The company told ABC 10 News it was reviewing the new data and declined to comment for now. Health experts say the companies should augment rapid testing with mask requirements, air filters and vaccines.